that's the CMDR Dex, and we're going to go ahead and unbox the Devour for Power Commander box. This is uh, black, blue, green. So here we go. We've got the uh, large foil oversized generals here. And first one we have is Vorosh the Hunter. Then we have Damia, Sage of Stone. Looks pretty nice in a foil. And then the Mimoplasm. A lot of people like the dinosaur arm, and I do too, and it looks really nice in a foil. So, all right, let's go ahead and get to the deck. Again, the uh, instruction booklet. All right, so the Mimoplasm is the main general for this deck. I usually want to be the one, again, you want to play the first time through if you uh, rip it out of the box and start playing it. Then we got uh, Nizumi Grave Robber and Skulkbriar. Uh, I'm really looking forward to picking up the large foil oversized version of him at the release events this weekend. I definitely think that he is a little underestimated right now as a general. Um, there are multiple ways to get him out and attacking on turn one, which is huge and insane, honestly, uh, in EDH. Um, so start picking up that card scar or even maybe a foil scar because uh, that's going to cause a lot of problems for this kind of a general. I think you're going to see a lot more of him once people start to take advantage of his, his early drop ability. Then we have uh, Riddle Keeper. Whenever a creature attacks you or planes or control, that creature's controller puts the top two cards of his or her library into his graveyard. Sort of uh, some funny, creepy looking art on that. That's pretty cool. Then we got Flesh Bag, Eternal Witness, huge for green players or any players that play green in the deck. Definitely want to enjoy the witness out of the set. Uh, troll Aesthetic with the new Hexproof uh, text on there. So it's no longer Troll Shroud, it's now Hexproof. Then we got a uh, Grandpa, Solomus Malacrum, a great card in, in most EDH decks. Uh, then Brawn and Wonder, you want to have those guys in the yard. Sewer Nemesis, sort of like a Lurgoth. Uh, Gravedigger, a Lurgoth. Dreamborn Muse, Mortivore, the Black Lurgoth. Desecrator Hack. I've seen some pretty stupid things happen with this creature in uh, dredge type EDH decks. So don't underestimate, underestimate this one and rip it out of the deck uh, quickly. You know, it, it can be abusable. Then we got Maul Drifter, Acidic Slime, uh, Vultures Zombie. This can get pretty big pretty quick. Dark Hatchling, Extractor Demon, Scythe Spectre, uh, Rexiel. Then we got Vorosh again. And then uh, Triskelavis, <laughs> Slipstream Eel. Butcher of Malakir, uh, Patron of the Nazumi, Damia. Um, I think with her you want to have a lot of low cast cost stuff, just so you're continually refilling your hand. Um, I don't know exactly what yet, but I'm, I'm sure there can be some pretty sick decks out there going to be made out of this card, so keep an eye on her. Then we got Sezdak, Avatar, well, really nice. Artisan, and uh, another Soul Ring. Demir Signet, Golgari Signet, Greaves, Simic Signet, Oblivion Stone. Fantastic card. This and Nev's disc are pretty pretty similar, um, but the fact you can protect your own stuff with this is pretty good. Then we get into the Vows, Vow of Wilderness, Vow of Flight, Vow of Malice, Memory Erosion, uh, Grave Pact. Cool to see that back in there. Tribute to the Wild, Spell Crumple again. We got Factor Fiction. Looks like that's the Jace versus Chandra dual decks Factor Fiction art. Uh, Relic Crush, Minds Aglow. Sort of like a Mind Spring, but for everyone, um, you want to try to find a way to abuse it, though, to make sure the cards you're drawing are going to be better. One of my friends suggested to have a Consecrated Sphinx out and then play this card. No one else may add mana to it, but, you know, it's it's still going to work, do wonders for him. Then we have Shared Trauma, Scion Blood, Stitch Together, Cultivate, Windfall, Buried Alive, very good with Mimoplasm, of course, Siphon Mine, Unnerve, Rise from the Grave, Siphon Flesh, and Living Death. Um, most people that play black already know about Living Death, but this is an amazing card, especially if there's a lot of hard to get rid of creatures out there on the board. Uh, non basics now, we got Command Tower again, Baron Moore, Demir Aqueduct, Dredge Brief, Rot Farm, Refuge, uh, Cycler, Rupture Spiral. I think Rupture Spiral might be in all five decks, it looks like. Then the Simith Growth Chamber, Svagoth. Temple of the False God. I really don't actually like this. I like the older Temple of the False God. The yellow frame around the art, I think, made it pop better. So, 
personal preference there. Uh, Terramorph Expanse, Tranquil Thicket, and it looks like we're getting into the uh, basics here. It looks like quite a few basics in this deck as well, so that's, that's not too bad. Alright, there we go, and that was Devour for Power.